Welcome back to another speed test. This will be the last speed test for now, because as mentioned previously, uh, still need some braking kilometers with the RD50. So this SP747 is limited, I know. Uh, it has a smaller carb than from factory, be in regulations with the Belgian law. So I know this thing does around 45 kilometers an hour. But let's put that to the test. Let's go. Back to the board once more. So yeah, the SP747, theoretical horsepower, not sure. I think it's 4.3, but I'm not sure. Although this thing is limited, so this will be a lot less. It did the zero to 45 in 31 seconds it did the quarter mile in 34.5 seconds with an exit speed of 44.3 with the elapsed time method that gets us a theoretical horsepower of 1.6 with the trap speed method that gets us a theoretical horsepower of 2.24 which is actually the first bike that has a higher trap speed horsepower than an elapsed time horsepower which is pretty strange did I feel something in wrong? I just recalculated these two numbers and I get the exact same thing so I don't think I've put anything wrong in the calculator so pretty cool we have now a list of the actual, well, it's still calculated horsepower, but it's still a rough idea of how powerful these bikes are. Some of them are pretty close to theoretical. The FS1 is pretty close, and the Dream is also pretty close to theoretical. I know Flandria, so the Comet, and the Penny, and the SP747. Flandria used to... Uh, mess around with these figures and exaggerate a little bit so I know these numbers are a bit high but still some pretty cool results maybe in the future we'll go around mess around with some bikes and see what we make now and what we make when we change something just like I tried with the dream with the bigger carb it didn't have much result but still it's worth trying so thank you very much for watching this will be the last of the series for now. I still have to do, I think, around 500 kilometers on the RD50 for break-in. But with uh, the bad weather and salt on the road, sometimes I don't think I will get much. But I will do it definitely. So probably starting of next year, when the weather gets a bit more clear, I will do the speed test for the RD50, which will be pretty exciting, I think. So. Thank you very much for watching, see you in the next one.